He's just being grouchy. This is the pit bull, the pit bull of the bird world. Yeah. <laughs> I love him. He's just over here, just uh, you know, taking a piece of hand. No big deal. Is that good, bud? I mean, I don't know how much it's gonna get. How much sustenance? Bro, is he's bite force entertainment, man. That's bite force, right? That's bite force bird right there. The bite force bird. Those are um, yeah. Swans can be a little. He's a uh, he's sweet. He's a sweet bird. Look at that. He's a. Uh, you know, just wants to eat my hand. He's normally over at the other pond. Big guy. Big guy. Come on, come on. He's like, oh, you're my size now? <laughs> He's like, shit. He's like, I pick on guys bigger than me. Come here, bud. Come here, big boy. Come here, big boy. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my head. We're here at Sarasota Jungle Gardens. Now, Sarasota Jungle Gardens, if you guys want to check it out, obviously, it's in Sarasota. And Sarasota Jungle Gardens has a crocodile here that's from St. Augustine, and it's one of my favorite crocodile species. St. Augustine place. Alligator Farm. Did I not say that? No, you said St. Augustine, which is good, but we want people to know it's from the farm. St. Augustine Alligator Farm. So, they have one of their animals here, again, my personal favorite crocodile. And here in Florida, we have an issue with the crocodile that we have here. He's a native species. I'm not sure if this one is from Florida or not. Could be a Jamaican bloodline, could be from Costa Rica. His pretty face right there, he's smiling. But these guys here are a protected species, and there's not very many left. I think the croc docs stated this year we have like 5,000 left in the wild right now, and they're doing everything they can to keep those guys at high numbers. So John LeBron is a curator over here. Say hi. Hey. Hi, um, <laughs> don't super, bother him, he's busy. Super into the camera, he loves it. He's a camera guy right there. So John LeBron is a curator over here at Sarasota Jungle Gardens, and he basically just fed us to the crocodile. But we're gonna go in here, we're gonna see Dominic. Mr. Dominic. Are we good to go? Yeah, he's uh, grabbing some chow for you right now. Oh, he's got some chow for us. Yeah, too. absolutely. So we're gonna do this and film it, you're gonna film me and do it. We're gonna film no, and do no, it at the same today, time. Today, today, well. Hey, I'm gonna dummy lock this, you good? You're coming in. You have to film, right? You said you're going to outside. Is John filming or is he not filming? Whatever you want to do. Whatever's clever. So, I don't even care so anymore. So just put us in here along with a big American croc, which mm. normally would be scared of them, but this is fun. We're going to die. Wiggly sees this croc. He's waiting for me. He wants to come through here and chase us. Dominic, what a beast. All right, here we go. We're gonna right, hand so let's this. Work with Dom. We're gonna hand this to the camera lady. Okay. There's John again. He loves being on camera. He's right Dom's here. Coming in. He's back up for us. He's right. famous. Is he coming in? Uh, it's only for a second to be here. Come on, John. You gotta be here. That's the rule. I think he just wants to be he on camera. He wants to be here. Okay, come on. John told us he loves people and he loves the camera. That's what he's all about. That's why he became a curator. All right. So John's gonna. Dom here. Brooms Tixon. Come on. Here. So just, just like my alligators, Dom Station Train. It's only me when I'm in here, so I'm not sure. Do they get that? Now, here, what Dom. John is saying is that basically is when he comes in here, it's just him training the animal. And he hasn't been able Dom. to be as consistent Water. as he wants. Come and on. now there's new variables. So you have Troy in here, you have myself in here. He's seen Troy before, but the crocodile has no idea who I am. So remember. Tom, Water. But you also have to remember that Dominic is an extremely lazy crocodile. He's a big boy. He's like us. Well, two. Hey, can you let my ballot to uh, Dolphin, please? 
too, like John was telling us before, he doesn't get to be as consistent as he wants to be just yet. With the clock, consistency is key when you're training okay. anything. You want a schedule, you want to continue to adhere to that schedule because without it, then you're pretty much working against yourself. And that's training any animal. Come on. Come on, buddy. Yeah. He's real tall. He saw that. Now you can't turn down a biscuit. See that looks. Look Justin that. does that if you throw an ice cream sandwich on the floor. Look at that. <laughs> Come on, Dom. There he is. Six right now. No, no. Okay. And what I've been doing is taking the biscuits and then moving over to the other side. Okay, let's go to the other side. All right, so we're going to go to the other side here. Let me see. You following John? Okay. Easy, big boy. Come here. Hold, 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 hold. Come here. Oh, sorry, Come here. Come here. Come on, here. Just in case you can Come on up. Good boy, hold it. Ready? You want that? Right there. Good boy. That's a good boy, Dom. Okay. All right, so I'm going to get him to go to the other side. So essentially what they're doing is they call him the one side. He comes over here, gets his treat. I go to the other side when they can work for it to the other side. Well, I, again, have never, never trained this crocodile. I've never been around this crocodile. So he may not react to me the same way as he reacts to the guys that he knows. So I'll try and get him to come to the other side. So like I was saying before, there's only a couple of thousand left here in Florida. It's a native species here to Florida. We're the only place in the world that has both alligators and crocodiles living in the same area. So we have alligators that range all over the state and the American crocodile that's found all the way at the southern part of the state. Although, didn't they just have a crocodile up here found on the beach? Yes, they did. They did find one in a neighborhood, I believe. In Sarasota, which is, uh, which is on the west coast. It's far up north, so he traveled a long way to get to where he was in Sarasota. And it's not very common, especially because it gets too cold up here for these guys. One other area to go, big boy. You see the immense size of this animal. Just the skull alone. Look at those teeth, man. That's crazy. Stuff. I actually think he's an amazing dominant. It's probably my favorite crocodile on the planet. And I work with a bunch of them. Again, he's very sweet, too. This is like, uh, this isn't super normal for crocodile behavior. Usually they're a little bit more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not aggressive, so to speak, but a lot more defensive, especially in their own territory, their own little area. What do you want? You want another treat here, big boy? There you go. There you go. Make it easy for you. You didn't even have to work for that one, Bubba. These are extremely intelligent animals. But again, there's not very many left here in Florida. So Troy and I, and Troy's good friend Flavio, well, our good friend Flavio, and Kurt, we uh, we do something called Croc Fest every year. And this year it's December 7th. Anybody out there can come check that out. It's at St. Augustine Alligator Farm. And Croc Fest is essentially a fundraiser to raise money for all different species of crocodiles. This year we did one, what was that, summertime? Yep. Summertime, June. Some, June we did one for the American Crocodile, and this Christmas we're doing another croc fest, again December 7th, St. Augustine Alligator Farm, check it out. Uh, we're doing another one, and it's for the American Crocodile as well. So we, I think we raised about $40,000 during the summertime. We're hoping to get at least that much or even more and crush that, because we're having problems in Jamaica where these guys are. We're having a lot of poaching, so we're trying to, I guess, send money down to Jamaica to help the species you know, from being hunted and poached out so much. I don't think they have very many left in Jamaica. It's not like Costa Rica where there's American crocodiles all over the place. So we have our issue here in Florida. There's not very many. We have the issue in Jamaica. In Costa Rica, there's a ton. They'll never go extinct truly, but ours here in Florida, the Florida bloodline. A little bit a more rare. Yeah, it's a definite possibility that it does go extinct. Swinging all the water out. Just extremely explosive. Yeah, animal. he's so cool, isn't he? All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that's the American Crocodile Dominic here at Sarasota Jungle Gardens. If you guys ever want to check him out, we're here helping out today. So I figured I'd film it and let you guys anymore. in on the secret. You're like a little kid looking for his lost bouncy yeah, balls. I lost my biscuits. I lost my biscuits. But yeah, anyway, so. Biscuits. Any questions about Dom? Come out and see us at St. Augustine Alligator Farm on December 7th. Crocfest. Justin will tell you all about it. It's a lot of fun. Crocfest, we're going to film because it gets a little wild over there. So as much on, as we buddy. do for conservation, we do it for fun too. Yeah, food, barbecue, beer, you know. Beer, liquor, we Justin do the auction. Be there, signing butt cheeks. That's Mom. right, that's right. There you go. Look at that, there's a spot right there. Look at that, get his neck, Jay. 
Get his neck. Well, yeah, he looks get his like neck. He got his neck. He's gonna get you. Come here, big boy. He's gonna karate chop you, Roscoe. So Roscoe's a giant Aldabra tortoise or a Volkswagen Beetle. Neither or. All right, so we're at the Sarasota Jungle Gardens right now. Um, if you guys want to check it out, it's on the west coast of Florida. You're more than welcome to Google that. Sarasota Jungle Gardens, owned by Chris Slavic. And we're here with, uh, oh my God, what an amazing species. This is this second largest tortoise in the world? And this one is huge. And apparently Roscoe here is pretty grumpy. They and they are not from the Galapagos Islands, like people think. No, they're from, from the get this. They get, get this, the largest population. It's found so where? Let's go over here, but it's the Seychelles Aldabra. Islands, the Aldabrans, these are from Seychelles. They're big. But the Aldabra comes from, well, the Aldabra Islands. Okay. He's huge. This is actually a lot of fun for me. I'm enjoying this thoroughly. Easy. Easy. Oh, Easy. Yeah. Easy, big boy. He's gorgeous. Absolutely. Gorgeous. Look at the size of his feet. Look at this. He weighs roughly about 500 pounds. 500 pounds. That means he could crush me if he wanted to. Well, now, obviously, I'm not going to let him. Are you trying to climb on me, big boy? You going to stay down? Can I pitch him? Can you chill out just a little bit? Okay, big boy. Yeah. You're okay. I know. You're okay. You're okay. Look at that big old man face on him. Oh, so he does have a girlfriend in the back there? Yep. Named Bertha. How big is she? Yeah. What, 250? About 250 pounds, a lot smaller. So she's about half of him. She's well, about she's half of 63 him. years old. Oh, that's not even that old. No. Just These guys look about 200 years. Just not even that old. You still got a long way to go, bud. You still got a long way to go. Yeah, they just don't, they don't know. You got a long way to go. So his girlfriend's about half the size. Now, something interesting about these guys is a lot of people think that tortoises can't do well in the water. And recently, off the coast of one of the islands over there, they saw a pretty good size Aldabra tortoise in the middle of the ocean taking a stroll going to one of the other islands there. So the tortoise was actually in there, kicking his little feet around, swimming to another island. Wasn't drowning, yeah, I'll me. and I don't think they messed with it. I don't think they intervened. Yeah, we'll I think they let it go all the way to the there. island over there, which is fairly interesting to me because look at the sheer massiveness of this animal. So yeah, okay. these guys do well in the water. Oh, it's absolutely crazy. Roscoe, are you gonna give me a break? You gonna give me a break, bud? Can I give you a piece of lettuce? Can I do that? Always. He's gorgeous, man. A lot of fun. You're gorgeous. You're so good looking. Do you want that? There you go, bud. There you go. Can we just sit here and eat it, though? There you go. Well, I should have probably bought another piece, huh? I want you guys to see. I'm six foot three. <laughs> and look at the size of this tortoise. I could hide behind this tortoise. And nobody would ever know the difference. Absolutely. And, and you're a good boy, Roscoe. You're a good boy, Roscoe. This is insane. Dudes. Not gonna lie, I kind of want to put it in my pocket and take it home. Right, big boy? Right, big boy? So again, guys, Sarasota Jungle Gardens, if you ever get the chance, come out here and see Roscoe. He's insane. Insane. He's a good boy, too. He's a good boy. All right, off to the next. What do we want to do next? What do you want to do, Roscoe? Side of bulldoze me all over this place. I think next we're gonna go over to the flamingos. We'll do the flamingos, show you guys some of the flamingos, and then uh, I think we might be done here at the Sarasota Jungle Gardens, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But absolutely amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. Thank you for letting me hang out with you, big boy. I appreciate you letting me bother you for the day. Come over here, real close to his face, bro. Look at that old man face right there. Look at that old man face right there, trying to give you the foot. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. He's so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Okay, big boy, we'll leave you alone. <sighs> you don't want that? Do you want it? You don't want it. You do you want it? You don't? You do? You don't? You do want it. You don't want it. But you want it, there you go, buddy. There you go. You know you want that. Just take a piece. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. So just a piece. Just take a piece. You can do it. You're less fun though. Oh my god. There's so many. We're getting attacked. We're getting attacked. These are Ibis. 
And we have little seagulls around here. Yes. And then a little more hens. Those are the little blackbirds with the red front. Crazy, dude. This is supposed to be for the flamingos. Can you eat this for me, please? Oh, take this for me, please. Okay. I'm not going to take it. All right. We'll feed the ibis then. But we'll tell you guys about these flamingos. So, let's scoot over here so everybody can hear. So, check this out. So, here in Florida, we have the American uh, flamingo or the Caribbean flamingo. So, it's a larger species of flamingo. There's a couple of different species. Now, here in Florida, these guys for a long time now have been thought to be an invasive species, an exotic species that's not supposed to be here, which is fairly untrue. And they definitely proved that recently, and I'm going to tell you how. So the Caribbean flamingos, we have a population at the Miami Racetrack, down south, Homestead Racetrack. And essentially, it's a huge population of birds over there. So what was happening is people were spotting these flamingos around Florida, and they just assumed that they were escaped flamingos. That they didn't belong to them. Here, are you going to eat? Oh, finally. Finally, we get a flamingo to eat when it ends. God, birds are amazing. So they were thought to be an invasive species. Now what happened was, is there were some people out and they keep seeing these birds and they're expecting these birds are coming from Mexico, Belize, South America, things like that. So they're expecting the birds that are here to migrate back to where they come from. And I guess a couple of flamingos, three flamingos ended up at a, an airport or something. They needed the flamingos out of there. So they caught these flamingos or they were able to get out of three flamingos, they were already get, able to get two of those uh, to leave the property, basically harassing them until they left because they didn't want them to get sucked into an airplane. So one of them didn't leave, so they had to take action. So what they did was they went out and they trapped this animal. Here you go, dude. They went out and they trapped this animal, and then there was a discussion of what they were going to do with it. So they wanted to tag it and release it to see if it was going to go back to Mexico or to track it to see where it would go. So what ended up happening is that once they got the okay here in Florida to release it back in the wild, because you're not allowed to release invasive species into the wild, but once they got the okay to do that, they released it and that flamingo never left. And so they were able to say that there's established, uh, established populations of flamingos here in Florida. So in the 1800s, flamingos were all over the place here. And they were basically hunted to extinction because of the plume trade. So ladies like to wear the feathers on their hat. You know, they were, look at the bird. The bird is beautiful. So they basically used the bird for, you know, expensive things. So they hunted them to the near extinction here in Florida. And then they were gone for a long, long time. So now these birds are showing up actively in their active nest sites. So we were able to turn it over and bring them from a non-native species back to a native species, which they do belong here in Florida. So now they are a native species here to Florida. How about that shit, huh? Boom. Come on, birds. Psst. Psst. I got it right here. Right here, dude. Here. Ibis. Come to me, Ibis. Here, look. Go ahead, get it. Get it, Ibis. Get it. You think this is weird for everybody around me? Totally weird. We're in a public place, people. Uh, totally public. Yeah. Well, you're fine. <laughs> oh, you're fine. There you go, birds. Knock it out. When the sun rises, when the sun.